If you want to learn how to create mega menus like these on your WordPress website, stick around because I'm about to show you how to do so. Alrighty, hello and welcome to another episode of Plugin Reviews here on WebMonkey and today I am going to teach you how to create a mega menu on your WordPress website. Now an example of a mega menu would be what you would find over here on jackthreads.com and it is an excellent place to buy clothes I should add. And as you can see when you hover over the menu items you have the mega menu showing up. You have text to the left, you have images, and this is a pretty good looking navigational system. It's very effective and it's very slick in design as well. So I am going to attempt to create something similar over here on my website for the movies and characters menu items. Now I am going to be doing so using a plugin called the Mega Menu by WooRockets.com. And I have to say that these guys are the best, simply the best for making this plugin and for offering it free of charge. Because trust me, when it comes to finding plugins that can create mega menus for you on WordPress, the very vast majority of them tend to be premium plugins. So I am going to show you how to configure the plugin on your WordPress website. I have already installed and activated the plugin. So I'll come down here to the back end. And when you do so, you will find this tab over here that says WR Mega Menu. Go ahead and click Add New. We have to create a new profile for our main menu. So I'll just add a title, name that Main Menu. And now in here, you can choose the menu which you'd like to create a Mega Menu for. I am creating one for the primary menu. And now in here, we have access to the individual menu items underneath my primary menu. So. I am going to click on movies and now in here I'm going to turn on mega menu and now in here we have a box where we can begin to create our mega menu. In here I have one column. I can add an additional column by clicking on the very first button in here. So now I have two columns. Keep in mind that I can change the size of the individual columns by simply stretching to the left. Or stretching to the right you can change the sizes that way so in here I'm going to add my very first element when it comes to adding elements there are three types you can add you can add an image a sub menu or even text I'm going to add an image and let's go ahead and add a very first image okay so let's see what can we add over here let's just go with the Joker for now <laughs> Batman's best friend all right, so here's the preview and we can change the size as well. I'll just stick with medium for now and I will add the title. So let's go with a Joker pick. Now the title would not show up in the front end. Okay, the title is just to allow you to easily identify uh, what this what content this column actually contains. So let me click on save and in here. I'm just going to go ahead and add my text. And by default, we do have some sample text that comes with the plugin. I'll just go ahead and remove the last three lines. And let me just add a title. Let's make that Joker description. And I'll just add the Joker in here so that it shows up on the front end. The Joker, let's make this an H2. Let's save this. Let's go ahead and publish what we have. And let's take a look. Let's see what we have right now. Movies and take a look at that. We now have the Joker showing up with his face, his title and a very short description. Awesome. Let's go ahead and add another row. Now when I hover over the add row button in here, you have the different layouts for columns that you, that you can go with. I'll just go with the two columns 50 by 50 and I can also clone the columns above by clicking on the duplicate button in here to clone this element and then I can drag the clone in here and then I can simply edit the image by clicking in here and uh, who do we go with this time let's go with Darth Vader dun, 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 dun. all right let's change the title Darth Vader uh, selfie 
<laughs> Darth Vader likes selfies. All right, Darth Vader selfie, and I'll do the same for the text as well. Duplicate the element, drag that in here, and let me just edit what we have in here. Uh, Darth Vader, and I'll change the title to Darth Vader. Darth Vader Desk. All right, let me save that. Let's go ahead and update our menu. Let's come back over here and refresh the page. And what do you know? We have Darth Vader showing up just beneath the Joker. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's go ahead and add one more column again to the very first row and another column to the second row as well. So I'll just add a column. Now from here, you can actually rearrange the positions of each column by simply dragging and dropping. So now we have a new column in between the first two columns. Let's go ahead and add another image. And let's see, who do we go with? Who should we put side by side with the Joker? Uh, let's go with Jason X. Why not? Jason X, our good old buddy, Jason X. Jason pick. Let's go ahead and save that. And I'll do the same thing here as well. Let's add another column, drag that in here, add a new image. All right, so who do we pair with Darth Vader? Let's go with the Predator, why not? The Predator. And if you haven't seen the very first Predator movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger, I would recommend that you do so. It is an excellent movie. All right, let's update that. We now have three columns in each row with two images and text block. Let's see. Okay, all right, so we have our three columns showing up quite all right, but the menu system looks quite broken because it's very, very short. It's not wide enough. So what we can do is to increase the width of our mega menu. And to do that, I am going to click on the gear button just next to movies. And now in here, you can go with a full width container, as you can see. So let me go ahead and update that. Let's come back in here and refresh the page, movies, and now take a look at that. We now have the entire Mega Menu stretching to the ends of the container. So you could do that if you want to, but I'll just go back in here and change the width back to fixed, but I'll increase from 600 pixels to 980 pixels. Let's do that. Let's update. Come back in here, refresh the page. And awesome, so this looks way better than what we had originally. Awesome. Now let me quickly show you how you can make simple uh, changes to the appearance of your images and text. Let's go back, go back to movies. Now if I click on the image element to edit, we do have a block in here that says appearance. I can click in there and you can change the container style. We have rounded, as you can see, this is what you will have. You can go with the circle, and then this is what you'll get. And finally, we have the thumbnail, which is what you'd get over here. So let me just go ahead and do the thumbnail for the Joker. Uh, let's go ahead and change the one for the Predator to that of a circle. And let's just save that and update and see what we have. Refresh. And okay, take a look at that. Awesome. Now, there is a problem though, and that is none of these images are clickable. You can't click on any of them. So we can change that by going back once again to movies. And in the image, in here where you have the on click button, you can change this to either show a large image or go to a specific URL. What I'm going to do is to go to my category. And the category I'm going to go with will be the action category. Obviously, you need to have this categories of these categories of posts already on your WordPress website. And you can go to open it in a current browser if you want to, or in a new tab or even in a light box. Let's just go with a new tab. Let's save this. Let's update. Let's go back. Let's refresh the page. Come back to movies. Now, if I click on the Joker, we now have the new tab with the category of action. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So what I'm going to do right now is I am going to pause the video. I'm going to go ahead and create a mega menu for the characters menu item. And I will resume the video once I have done. So 
Right, I'm back and as you can see, I have gone ahead to create the mega menu for the character's menu item. And as you can see, we have three good guys in the very first row. The second row has their names and a short description. While the third row, we have three images of not so good guys. <laughs> and then the very final row has their names and their descriptions. This is the back end and this is exactly how it looks like. So you can go ahead and begin to create different kinds of mega menus. The only thing limit limiting you at this point right now is your imagination. So as an example, to create something like the one we have over here at Jack Threads, uh, you could create this using two rows, each with four columns. So an example, the very first column would have the text from, let's say, shop all clothing down to pants. And then you will have all these images with the captions. And then the second row will have a text block with uh, denim down to underwear and socks and then the next three columns will have these images and you can create different kinds of menu items different kinds of mega menus rather using this powerful plugin there is still so much that you can do which i haven't i haven't even talked about as an example on your text block if you click on the edit button in here for the appearance you can change how the text actually looks like you could use something called a drop cap we have the very first letter will appear bigger than the rest as you can see uh, there are so many things you can do you can uh, make changes to the individual rows so you click on the button in here underneath the add column and now from here you can change the background of the row so I could go in here and say okay I want an image or I want a solid color and I can just choose a color from let's go with uh, let's come down here with blue as an example and let me just save this update come back in here refresh the page let's go in there and now you can see we have a blue background for our very first row there is so much you can do with this plugin it's just it's it's amazing in here as well you can click on styling and this will stylize the entire mega menu itself you can go with a vertical menu layout as opposed to a horizontal layout uh, let's see how this looks like let's save that update Come back in here, refresh the page, and now you can see that we have a different sort of menu, a different sort of mega menu as you can see. So whatever works for you, you can go ahead and create it. I hope at this point right now you know how to use this awesome plugin to create mega menus on your WordPress website. So if you've enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe. My name is Alex and I, I want to thank you once again for watching the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye.